guys, Basic Sorgonomics, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. So happy you're with me this whatever time of the day it is. Not whatever time I record this. Yeah. Uh, but no, today I just want to talk with you, ladies and gents. Uh, communicate with you. Had a really fun communication last night with uh, 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 Nathan Paletta of uh, a worldwide wrestling rpg uh we had a lot of fun we were on google hangout chachi and riz joined us and we uh played uh his game the worldwide wrestling uh, role-playing game uh, yeah, and this is the the role-playing game in the dungeons and dragons sense uh we had him on several uh several months ago on indie mayhem show to talk about his 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 game it was actually passed to us through a fan of the show it said hey check this out and sent us sent us the PDF of it. Uh, he's got uh, you know stuff up there. It's it's a very uh, I think it's mostly a pay what you want kind of thing. And uh, right now he actually has a Kickstarter going on for an expansion pack expansion pack about uh, you know just just more moves, more everything else. Uh, so go check out Worldwide Wrestling RPG. I believe it's an international incident off the top of my head. Kickstarter. Uh, and of course uh, the whole thing we did on Hangout. It's going to be up. On WrestlingMayhemShow.com, everything's just kind of in the middle of processing right now as I go to record this. So uh, check that out, and that's a lot of that's a, that's a fun thing. I've been wanting to do uh, a role playing game over Google Hangout for some time now. Uh, you know, if you're not familiar, role t- I'm talking about role playing games in the sense of you have dice. There's a bunch of papers. As we're playing, I can tell Chachi is a very old schooler because he's shuffling papers as we go on the Google Hangout. Um, and we're able to broadcast that. We're able to put that out there. And there's people that, you know, much like there's these Let's Play games these days, uh, there are people just out there, um, you know, watching people play Halo, watching people play Call of Duty, watching people play Minecraft. Uh, I think I think there's definitely a tabletop culture as well. I know Will Wheaton had a tabletop uh, show for at least a little bit on the Geek and Sundry channel on YouTube. Um, there's there's definitely a culture of there's the players and there's the watchers. I like to watch. Um, I always enjoyed. I, I haven't played a lot a lot of role playing games. Uh, some pickup games here and there of Dungeons and Dragons. A very extended campaign of Vampire Dark Ages we had several years ago. Uh, but no, I'm definitely a person that likes to slide in there. And for me, it's kind of hard to find somebody that's, uh, you know, wants to be a dungeon master that we can roll into or have a regular kind of base for this. Um, even I know my, my good friend, uh, uh, Will, he, 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 last I knew was doing a weekly, uh, uh, D and D session with people still, uh, that, that I know he was making time for. And I think that's awesome. I think that's, uh, it's definitely something, um, that stokes the creativity. It's a lot of fun. And it's kind of nice because that's when it always was a burden was uh, like we all have to go over to this guy's house on Thursday night and continue with our campaign. And I remember how strenuous that would be sometimes uh, because of, you know, whatever reason, maybe some, some of the people going weren't getting along or something like that, you know. Uh, but uh, it, it's been it, it was an interesting experiment last night. Like I said, the first time I've done that over Google Hangout and. One of those things where you look at the tools that we have right now that we can do something like that. Um, you know, we could do that. We could do role playing. We could do some other kind of um, vocal sort of game. Like, can we play a board game? Maybe you know. <laughs> but you know, I, actually, I could see something like that. You know, uh, after so many years, we've been breaking down uh, the walls, and we can all play Call of Duty together um, anytime we want on Xbox, provided we have the same system or something, right? Um, and that we were able to bring him in, the creator of the game, and have him present it, uh, which is something that he's been doing uh, for a bit to get his games out there. And he's not just doing a, a, a pro wrestling RPG. He has a war one. He has this gothic one. Uh, he has a, an Egyptian role playing game. So uh, whatever your your you know passion is, what your interest is, I, I think he, he fits into probably a lot of you guys out there. Uh, so that's really cool to see. Um, and and you know, Google Hangout, I, I, I know I, I've really kind of touted as as kind of a game changer for a lot of things because it does allow it to, I think there are nine, probably they might be up to 20. Uh, Night Raw is with a few of us in there uh, from the greater Pittsburgh area, from New York, from San Antonio, from California sometimes. And, uh, and, and I 
don't realize we're thousands of miles away from each other. You know, it's uh, it, it's pretty cool that we're at that. And now that there's this announcement that Skype has um, announced that they're going to allow about 25 people, I believe, into uh, Skype calls. Uh, and I remember testing out group calling before uh, the days of Google Hangout as a po- potential way for us to get uh, guests on for our podcast. And we, we were we were actually on the beta of, of the group chat. And uh, I think it's uh, really interesting that they're they're bringing that out now realistically i'll have when you get more than about four or five people in a in a google hangout it gets kind of hard especially if they're a little bit of a strong personality and there's a little bit of you can talk over other people um you know yeah i think you gotta watch out for something like that but this group is now going to be available on ios itself uh android on the apps it's not just over over uh uh, your computer over over the, the actual um, whole software there. Um, so, we also have FaceTime. We still also have that. Uh, my mom will FaceTime uh, from time to time. She's butt FaceTimed me. That's awkward. Uh, so, uh, and, and I think that's cool. And I'd like to see more and more. Um, I think everybody's comfortable with these tools now. And now they're being able to be more creative with these tools. You know, I could see we're actually going to have somebody on in a few weeks here. I'm going to talk with them about what how that process goes on that level, right? Uh, and 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 again, they're not just like the gee whiz, hey, look what we can do. And I feel like uh, Hangout, it's maybe gone a little bit away from that, thankfully, because I mean, they had a lot of stuff where like, hey, we can go draw stuff. Hey, we can watch YouTube together, you know, and and, and nothing really useful or functional, you know what I mean? Um, So I I, I challenge you guys to, you know, is there something that you can kind of break down that geographical divide uh, and, and, and get your team on board on Google Hangout. I mean, look at the stuff that we're doing with Slack, uh, what a lot of people are doing with Slack. Uh, talk with somebody last week, talk about, yeah, we have about four people locally that work on these projects, and then we have about, you know, three or four other people that are in Canada and in the South and in the Philippines and all over the place for times. And, and, and it was kind of funny because he says, yeah, it was trial error at first because the time zones are so sparse and different. Um, you know, we had to coordinate a little easier. So, uh, you know, and there's going to be challenges for that as you break down the walls of the world and, uh, you know, time zones and hemispheres even, uh, you know, that's, but that's a, I think that's a good problem to have, you know, that, you know, Hey, I found a guy to do a thing to help us with a thing in, you know, in, in, I don't want to say China, cause I don't know if you can Skype in China, uh, in Japan or something, you know, in Australia. And that's not an issue other than, are you awake when I'm awake? <laughs> it's a new issue, right? We have enough problem with the three hour difference with our in-laws being able to call at the right time. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, it's like five in the morning here. Um, okay. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, it's like one in the morning here when you're in your prime time. You know, it's a, it's a really interesting challenge to have. So uh, let me know what you think of using Google, Google Hang, Google Hangout. Giggle Hangout, that's a whole different thing. The, the, the Giggle Hangout on Google Hangout. I think I just started a new podcast. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of that? Are you using Google Hangouts, Skype, or any of these tools in a very interesting way to break down those barriers? Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Please also keep a lookout on our meetup group, the Sorgatron Media Meetup Group, um, which uh, I think is officially the Pittsburgh Social Media and Podcasting Group uh, in, 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 in bland nameness. Uh, we actually, or if you go to the Carnegie Library's website, uh, we're actually going to be uh, kickstarting the PodCamp Pittsburgh Boot Camps here in the beach view area i'm really as i've been mentioning i'm very beach view centered uh and we're going to be doing that here coming up in march i think it's the 16th if i'm not mistaken uh, whatever that wednesday is around that time uh it's going to be an intro to social media we're going to be dragging in a, a few of the uh, podcast people and uh if you're brand new to this kind of stuff it's a good place to kind of pick our brains and uh and then we'll uh, hopefully Everybody comes out a little more confident in their uh, in their tweeters, in their Facebookings, in their uh, whatever else comes up in this section. So let us know. Sign up for that. RSVP. Just say hi. Just show up. I don't think there's any official RSVP. Just show up. Just 
but what's up? You know, but it'd be nice. So we, you know, if we do packets or something, we can give you enough. You know, we won't run out. You know, like the Port Authority. Uh, base Sorgatron, Sorgatron.com. Sign up for the newsletter. I write things once a week. Just, you know, a little something to help you out. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.